G'day YouTube. What use have you for a 3D printer? And what does a 3D printer have to do with a little micro lathe? Well there's a tailstock and that's all I have. I don't have any way to hold drill bits in that thing. No fitty fitty. So that thing there became my drill bit holder. So the way it works is I printed those out of PET, 100% infill, nice and shiny and clear. Usually it would go on the back one, but this one's easier to get to for the camera. That goes in there. And then the drill bit just sits on top of it like that. And because it's plastic, as you tighten these down, the drill bit will lower in height. And if you, uh, you know, tighten one down more than the other, it'll, it'll tilt it. And what did I want those drill bits for, you may ask? To make a nozzle. Yes, that's right. A zero point for something because obviously it's not going to be too accurate 1.75 nozzle now if you're thinking it looks a little bit large it goes on the Mandel 90 which you can't really see because of the fan shroud but that's about the size of the nozzle that's on there now but that's a point three I think and I've been enjoying the point four nozzle on the E3D so obviously the printer doesn't have the resolution to hold a point four millimeter drill bit so that's where this one comes in it holds my pin vise which then holds the point four and the threads I cut with a die. I don't have any thread cutting things for that lathe. All I have is a, uh, a regular tool steel cutter. So, 3D printer. For more than printing trinkets, knickknacks, and other shelf sitting dust collecting artifacts. And bonus time E3D. I may end up sticking on the Mendel. Think I should put my nozzle on the E3D. He he he. Keep on printing.